Hi, in this video, we will learn uh, what it means for a matrix to have an inverse. We call such matrix invertible matrix, and we will see some, some uh, basic uh, properties of um, what it means having an inverse for a matrix. Okay, so let me start with a question for, with, with three questions, actually, for numbers. Uh, one is that what is the inverse of a number a so you know what is inverse for example inverse of 2 is 1 over 2 inverse of 3 is 1 over 3 and so on but what is the property which defines the inverse so this is if you look carefully to the inverse of the numbers you will see that the inverse of a is a number b such that when you multiply a to b you get one that is what the inverse of a matrix means so if you're looking for inverse of two you have to find the number uh, such that when you multiply um, 2 by that number you get 1 that's 1 over 2 or half or negative 1 for example what is the number when you multiply to negative 1 you get 1 it is negative 1 so that negative 1 or 1 over 2 is the inverse of the given numbers negative 1 and 2 well, then the second thing is that uh, does every number have an inverse? So if I give you any number, can you find inverse of that number? The answer for this question is almost yes, meaning that yes, almost all of the numbers, but one number. So if A is a 0, you multiply 0 to any number you like so a times any number you like zero times b zero times any number is zero and this cannot be one no matter what number you put there this cannot be one it means that zero has no inverse and it turns out that zero is the only number which has no no inverse so uh, all every non zero number has an inverse. That is, uh, that's the property, and that's the o only zero has that, that, uh, not having inverse property. Okay. And the third question is that when I give you a number a, how do you find the inverse of that number? Well, for the numbers, this is sometimes even you you take it as the definition is that if I give you a which is non-zero, then the inverse would be one over a. Why? Because if you if we multiply a to 1 over a you get a over a and this is 1 but in practice putting this 1 over a is the way or the approach or procedure you generate the inverse of the given non-zero matrix these three questions in mind now we move for matrices we will try to answer all three questions at least two of them in this video and then in another video for the third one let us start with then definition of the inverse first thing about the inverse is that we only define them for square matrices well it turns out that only square matrices can have such such property but we will assume that let a be a square matrix of order n well other way of saying is the is this one is that well it's an n by n matrix that's that's what it means then if 
there exist a square matrix B such that when we multiply A to B, remember for the numbers, we, when we multiply A to B, we get 1. Here, the role of 1 is going to be played by the identity matrix I. The matrix that has 1 on uh, the entries of AII and everything else is zero so we call main diagonal is zero everything else is sorry main diagonal is one everything else is zero and there's one slight variation for matrices here that we not only force a multiplied to b from right left gives us identity we also ask the other way around is also identity where i is the identity matrix of order n it, it is n by n matrix so if such a thing happens then we say a is invertible and well, B is called the inverse, inverse of A, and we denote it by A to the power negative. One thing here you may see that is I'm using the the inverse for the inverse. Why 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 don't we write a? Why why we force that there exists the inverse? Well, here one thing is that uh, needs a proof, but I'm just giving you as a fact. Remark is that the inverse. of an invertible matrix is unique it means that if matrix is invertible there will be only one matrix in the world when you multiply to a from left or right you get identity matrix okay let's do one example at least the example Check that A is, uh, sorry, B is inverse of A. Um, okay, so let me just write what is A. A is 1, 2, 1, 3, and B is. 3, negative 2, negative 1, 1. So to check if two matrices are, one is inverse of the other, what you need to do, you need to multiply A to B from left or A to B from right and show that these are identity matrices. Let's do this one. 1, 2, 1, 3, multiply to 3, negative 2, negative 1, 1. So this matrix is... First row, first column gives us 3 minus 2. First row, second column, negative 2 plus 2. First, second row, first column, 3 minus 3. Second row, second column, negative 6. Uh, sorry, negative 2 uh, plus 3. And uh, when you do this one, this get 1, 0, 0, 1. This guy is the identity matrix of order 2. Main diagonals 1, everything else is 0. If we do B dot A multiply to A, why are you checking the other way? And you see, in the matrix case, uh, when you switch the order of multiplication, you may get different matrix. But for the inverse matrix, uh, if 
you multiply a to b you get identity uh, b to a will also give you the identity i'm just checking this one here so one not one the matrix is three negative two negative one 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 two one three and you multiply first row first column you get three minus two first row second column six minus six negative one plus one and negative two plus three this is one zero zero one which is identity matrix and that means that yes b is the inverse of the matrix and basically what we have here is this guy if someone gives you any any two matrices you just do this uh, multiplication from left or from right you if you get both identity then it means that it is uh, invertible and that uh, one is the inverse of the other one okay another example example what is the inverse of the the inverse of the n by n uh, the identity matrix itself so if i if i give you um any identity matrix uh, what is the matrix when you multiply to that you get identity matrix back well this is like one remember what is inverse of one so what is the number when you multiply to one you get one uh, the number is one itself here also if you multiply identity matrix to itself you get identity this is because of the property of identity matrix that not only to itself but you multiply to any matrix you will get back a so here we get so this means that identity matrix matrix is invertible and the inverse of identity matrix is itself uh, or or for example another example just trying to make sure that the the notion of invertibility is um, in the right place is that let a b a matrix such that square matrix a to the power 10 is identity uh, then find a inverse so finding a inverse means what find the matrix b such that when we multiply from left or from right to a we get identity back what is the information we are given here so a to the power 10 is identity what we can do here is that a to the power 10 is what so you multiply a 10 times to itself or what you can do is that you say okay nine of them together so a to the power nine times a is equal to identity you can do from the other side and you see that what we showed here is that well if you multiply if a to the power 10 is identity then you multiply a to the power 9 to a from left or right you get identity back it means that a inverse in this case is going to be a to the power 9 well we will see more examples like more practical examples of what are the inverses but for the moment i'm leaving this uh, these examples here just checking or finding inverse of matrix means that you find a matrix when you multiply to your matrix you get identity matrix back now it's time to go back to the second question does every matrix does every matrix have an inverse 
Well, the first thing you may say, okay, first of all, we define inverse matrices for score matrices, so we will just consider score matrices. Okay, that's good. So does every score matrix have an inverse? Well, for the numbers, we saw that zero doesn't have. Let's just check the zero matrix here. Zero, 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 for example, in two by two. Then if I multiply it to any other matrix, A, B, C, D, then you, this will give us zero, 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 zero. Well, as you can see, this is never equal to identity. So that means at least zero matrix. Now we know that the zero score matrix is not invertible. very nice like numbers yes but in the numbers case zero number was the only number which didn't have invertible is this true for for matrices do we have non-zero matrix which is not invertible so maybe so are is there is there a non zero matrix which is not invertible and well just just to show you that the answer for this guy is yes there are a lot of non-zero matrices which are not invertible i will show you one case let's just put this guy here this is non-zero matrix there is non-zero entry one one entry is one not zero you multiply this matrix to any matrix you like the first entry will give you uh, a the second one will give you b then the third one is zero the 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 uh, second row second column is also zero doesn't matter what are A and B. This is not equal to identity matrix. No matter what you do. Because you see, this entry is not 1. That means that 1, 0, 0, 0 is not invertible. And that is actually starting point of a very nice theory. That while there are... Uh, there are matrices which are non-zero matrices which are not invertible and uh, that is part of the theory that we will learn next in the next video that well if you're trying to find inverse of a matrix then then first thing you have to fix the issue is it invertible or not and then if it is not in if it is invertible then find the inverse of that thing so the third question of uh, of how to find inverse of a matrix uh, we will answer to that question in the next video uh, and you will see that there are a good method to check if the matrix is invertible or not and find the inverse of that matrix